1939 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by NGC. According to Grading Service, this issue was widely saved by the role when new. Though such roles were broken up for singles by the 1980s, they have provided a good pool of gems through MS-66. Examples grading higher are scarce and greatly prized by registry competitors. 1939 D quarters were well made, reflecting the sharp strikes typical of Denver Mint coins during the late 1930s and through the 40s. This plus designated specimen ended up selling for $576. Number 6. 1936 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 66 Plus by NGC. The mintage of 1936 D. Quarters was similar to that of the 1935 D. Issue. With the saving of BU rolls well established by this period, they should enjoy similar availability in Mint State, but this simply is not the case. For reasons unknown, the survival rate of this year's entry in Mint State is quite low, some comparing it to the rarity of the very low mintage 1932 D. Issue. The 1936 D quarter is also rare in comparison to its San Francisco cousin, which had a lower mintage but, perhaps, benefited from the mystique always attached to S mint coins. When found, 1936 D quarters are generally well struck but may suffer from dye erosion that left the fields furrowed and the letter slightly distorted. Gems are noticeably scarcer than for other entries from this period, but enough have been certified to satisfy the more advanced collectors. This charming quarter was sold for $1,560. Number 5. 1940 Proof Washington Quarter. Graded as PR68 Plus by NGC. Virtually pristine surfaces are universally reflective in finish beneath a dusting of sandy silver and powder blue iridescence, more even on the reverse. Proof mintage is 11,246 coins, this being one of the finest known to NGC. It was sold for $3,480. Number 4. 1955 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 by NGC. According to Grading Service, the Denver Mint likely had a hangover from its huge quarter dollar production in 1954, and 1955 provided a rare instance after 1950 that this mint struck fewer quarters than Philadelphia. This issue drew immediate attention from speculators, who watched carefully the monthly mintage figures provided by the Treasury Department. Huge numbers of 1955 D. Quarters were saved, and worn examples below AU are a bit scarce. Most survivors have enough contact marks that they fail to grade higher than MS-66. Some are faintly proof-like, but not enough so to be certified as PL. This MS-67 gem ended up selling for $4,680. Number 3. 1934 Washington Quarter with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, a fully frosted, virtually brilliant example with a bold to sharp strike throughout. The 1934 double die obverse ranks as one of the most spectacular mint errors of the 20th century. Although it is many multiples rarer than the 1955 double die obverse scent, it often commands lower premiums, placing it within the reach of many Washington Quarter specialists. Five as in Stanton estimate a population of just between 251 and 500 examples. It was sold for $7,800. Number 2. 1982 P. Washington Quarter in MS-68 condition. Out of more than 500 million Washington quarters struck at the Philadelphia Mint in 1982, only two coins, including the one shown here, has been awarded an MS-68 grade by PCGS. Radiant pearl gray surfaces are fully struck and effectively flawless with occasional powder blue and tan accents. It was sold for $4,241.75. Number 1. 1945 S. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. Incredible quality and eye appeal. This 1945 S. Quarter has the telltale peripheral patina of an old album. Brilliantly lustrous surfaces highlight a dappled halo of deep violet, antique silver, russet, gold, and olive hues. It was sold for $13,200. And there you have it, folks, our journey through seven rare Washington Quarters that could be quietly residing in your collection just waiting to be recognized. Before you reach for that pocket change, take a closer look, you might be holding on to something truly special. If you enjoyed this numismatic adventure, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more intriguing coin content, and share your own coin discoveries in the comments below. Take care.